Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel where I make quality content that nobody really asks for. And when I'm filming this, and hopefully when I'm posting it, it is officially spooky season. And when it's spooky season, you know, my one of our favorite shops is open, which is Spirit Halloween. I love Spirit Halloween, and I feel like it's just one of those stores where you can easily just overspend and buy things you don't need, but like, your heart needs. You know what I mean? But yeah, so today's video, it is a little, well, little, I don't know if you consider this big, small, or medium, but I have a haul of stuff I picked up from Spirit Halloween, and I'm super excited to show you guys all the stuff that I got, because I just like doing hauls. That just it. So let's just dive right into the video, and let's see what I got from Spirit Halloween. As I mentioned, Spirit Halloween is just one of those stores where it's so easy just to buy everything because they have so many stuff for so many people. But I was on a mission and I really kept it down to only buying stuff from these two fandoms basically. And I didn't buy everything from this fandom because other A, I didn't need it or B, I couldn't find it. But yeah, I'm very happy about the stuff I found and bought, so let's just see what I got. And the two things that I got from Spirit Halloween, like the two fandoms that I bought from, is of course, Miraculous Ladybug, because why would I not buy the Miraculous Ladybug stuff? Because it's me. And I also bought the Monster High stuff. I didn't buy everything that they had, but I bought a lot of the Monster High accessories. So I just want to show you guys, because those are the two things I'm mainly collecting right now, is Miraculous and Monster High. So... That's why I narrowed it down to because I realized I didn't need anything else because I said I just try to keep it by stuff that I already have collections of versus starting a new collection that I don't have the space for. So yeah, so I don't have my table. So if I'm like banding down and stuff like that because I'm grabbing stuff from the floor. So let's just see what the, the first stuff that I bought, which is all the Monster High stuff. So the first thing that they have in Spirit Halloween are like accessories because they have a lot of costumes this year of like the Monster High character which is like Frankie, Jackie Laura, and Claudine. So they have a lot of accessory kits that match them but I'm obviously not going to buy the costumes because I don't need the costumes if not I'll just make my own costumes but I did pick up the jewelry sets that they had because why not. So first ones we have are these pair of earrings and they're basically like the skull leg and they have like the symbols of the, the main three girls which is I can see Frankie, Dracula, and Claudine on here kind of hard to see because it's still in this package but it's like these chain earrings and I thought they were really cute and I think they'd be really cute to have during spooky season also just any time of the year because it's monster high so when I do monster high videos I'm very happy to have these pair, pair of earrings and they're pink and black which is one of my favorite color combos and another one that i got is this accessory kit but it's like draculaura themed um ollie does, doesn't say this is draculaura but like it's obviously draculaura so yes yeah, so we have this accessory kit and honestly i think these are kind of overpriced to be honest like these pair of earrings were ten dollars well that's not bad but i prefer this one is a little bit overpriced my honest because in my honest opinion because these are this is $14.99 like I can buy a Miraculous Ladybug doll for that price but anyways so we have these earrings that obviously the safety pins very Draculaura s because Draculaura has safety pin earrings and I also like that you can tell these might be Draculaura but it's not like out there which I like because sometimes sometimes I just don't want to be out there sometimes I just want to have settled this, you know what I mean? And they also come with these pins, which I don't know what I'm going to do with, but I have these Draculaura inspired pins. So you have her skullette and some of her symbol, like a bat and a heart. So very cute. I say I think $15, in my personal opinion, is a bit much for this, considering you don't get you just really get a pair of earrings. But oh well, I bought it anyways. Monster High stuff tends to be overpriced anyways. Everything's falling on the floor. And I love that for myself. But yeah, we have these pair of earrings. And as I pick up stuff on the floor, we also have more accessory kits. So we have this Frankie Stein one. 
that I picked up again is also $15. And I said, obviously, these don't just say, oh, after they do say Frankie on the back, but never mind. They knew what they were doing. But yeah, we have this Frankie accessory kit. And she has like the blue skullet, which with the earrings she wears, she wears these blue skullet earrings. So that's really nice. But, so, but they settle, they're not very out there. And I appreciate that. And then we also have some pins that I still don't know what I'm going to do with. I could put them on the bag or something. Or I might sell them. I don't know, but I mostly bought these for the earrings. So that one is like $15 a lot for a pair of earrings. But they're still cute. So yeah, we have this set. And then of course the last accessory set you can get is this um, Claudia one. And she has a choker. And I think, I think this one might be my favorite one. I don't know, but we have this Claudine one. We have this like metal, uh, this leather choker. We have like, it's like a two piece. So we have like this dangly bit. And of course the pins of her symbols and Scarlet. So yeah, this is also $15.99, but I think this one's great. And I cannot wait to take it out of this package and then and wear it because I think it's fantastic. So yeah, we have the Frankie, the Frankie, the Claudine, and the Dracula sets that I picked up, and plus the earrings. And the last, like, jewelry accessory that I bought is, honestly, this was just like, just because I can. I didn't really need it, but I bought it anyways. We also have this the normal Monster High necklace, and this was $10, which I think is an okay price. But yeah, it's a little bit more tacky, in my opinion, than the other one, because it's like a full-on skullet. But it's still good. I say it's like a subtle, like sometimes wearing a t-shirt could be a lot or having a whole outfit. Sometimes I just want a little bit of my fandom style. Once in a while I wear my ladybug earrings. So it's good to have this Monster High one. So I'm in a Monster High spirit and I don't want to be like Monster High. I can wear these subtle accessories. Now I like it, but yeah, it's just this chain necklace with a skullet. It's two pieces and it has the stitch heart very cute so those are the accessories that i picked up from monster high and i picked up one more thing that they had that is monster high because they had a lot of things they had like a sweater i almost picked it up i honestly did and i had it in my hands and i realized i was never gonna wear it so i don't want to spend like, like 30 or 40 dollars on a thing that i would never wear so i passed on that and they had like dracula or things I pass on that too because I have big teeth and I know those things are probably smaller than my things so that's how it wouldn't work out for me and the last thing that I got that was monster high related is this crossbody uh, book bag and I'm very excited about this I feel like every monster high fan has this bag or everybody wants this bag because it's really like the diaries and I love it I love these like book style bags. I wish more of my stuff that I was into had like book style bags. Like I know Hot Topic came out with the Book of Dragon crossbody bag from How to Dragon. I really want that bag one day. But until then, I have the Monster High book bag and or diary, and I'm very happy about it. I also have like the Hot Topic bag, the Monster High Luminum bag. So I'm kind of glad to have a backpack and a purse that is Monster High. But yeah, it is like this. Um, leather material all the way around and it didn't look like their diaries and I love it I don't know where my monster high diaries are I think they're probably with my accessory kit but yeah it will look just like their diary uh, it's much more Claudine vibe versus anybody else but yeah and it's a blank and this diary belongs to and you can have your little message there I'm not gonna write my name on this just because just in case I want to resell it I don't want to resell it and have my name on it because I said I have phases so like maybe one day I look at this stuff I'm like oh I don't want it anymore so that's why I'm not gonna put my name on it but for you only need no money that's kind of weird but yeah and we have this cross body bag and it cost $25 which I feel like it's a lot but it's not a lot I don't know because I remember last year the bags were only fifteen dollars. Like I bought the Miraculous Ladybug crossbody bag. I have that in my first Miraculous Ladybug haul, and that only cost me fifteen dollars, and this one cost me twenty five. I think it's worth twenty five, but I'm saying kind of expensive. I actually don't know what the inside looks like, so I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and we can see what the inside of the bag looks like. So I sniff off the tag and I sniff a little bit of the zipper, so 
whoopsie doopsie. So let's just open it. You can see it together. How cute. So the strap is inside. And so yeah, the inside, it just, it's really cute actually. It has all these skullet. Okay, it is worth the $25 because this is honestly so cute. It has like the skullet patterns in there. So much cuter because I think the Hot Topic one, it's just a plain black. So I appreciate this one has a pattern. It has the pockets, so you need to put stuff in there. Um, you can't because it's really small. So, and then the strap here is really cute actually. Um, let me just unwrap it. Yeah, so here's the strap. It's like this purple stripe pattern. Super cute. And it has like this. So you just kind of just strap it on the back, I guess. Yeah, so, it, so yeah, you just um, hook it on the back here. It's pretty easy. You gotta make sure you just untangle the strap and it's, yeah, I think it's, it should be adjustable, honestly. And it should be good for adults because I know like the ladybug bag is um, for kids, so it's like really tiny. But this one seems to work. So let me just fix the strap. I'll fix the strap later. But yeah, we have this and it's super cute, so I cannot wait wear this during spooky season and it's gonna be decked out all in monster high so that's really good so that's all the monster high stuff i picked up so let's look at the last bits of stuff where i got which is of course the miraculous stuff because it's me so let's just see what miraculous ladybug stuff that i bought from spirit halloween this year so the number one thing i really wanted from spirit halloween was the Cat Noir bow staff because I'm kind of collecting the weapons that Spirit Halloween has because they have really good accessories for the Marks Ladybug costumes like you can see but I have the yo-yo I got that last year I used that for my Ladybug cosplays and it's so perfect so since I was so obsessed with the yo-yo I like got Rina Rouge's flute which is also amazing I still haven't taken it out of the package yet but it's still amazing. And they also have Rena Fertu's flute, which I'm planning on picking up one day. But I really wanted Cat Noir bow staff because I'm just a Cat Noir, like I'm a, I'm like the biggest Cat Noir fan. I feel like I buy everything Cat Noir. If his face on it, I would buy it. I own a lot of Cat Noir stuff. I love him. So I'm finally glad to be able to get the bow staff this year because I wasn't able to last year because I only went to like 10 different Spirit Halloweens never saw the bow staff so i'm glad that they have the bow staff again this year and one thing i like about these is that they actually make sounds so you just press like the button so you have like whooshing sounds love that yeah so it has three sounds i really like this bow staff yeah, and it extends this way. It doesn't stand on top, so because the speaker's on top, but it's still really cute. I love it a lot. And it's about, let's say, I don't know how tall this is, but it's pretty long. So I think it'd be this a great as thing to have as Max Ladybug collector. Just the weapons. I think it's cool, and I do a lot of cosplays. Like I'm playing on Dream Lady Noir one day, so it's kind of cool to have this form of the bow staff for conventions versus the long one, you know. So that's pretty cool. And the last couple of things I picked up are the Kwame plushies. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see my Kwame plushies all the time. I collect them. Um, I have Plag and Tiki already. I bought them last year. You actually see them in my videos all the time. If I angled the camera far away enough, you would see this shelf right here. And this shelf actually has the Plag and Tiki Spirit Halloween plushies. And let me tell you, the Plag and Tiki Halloween plushies are so cute. From Spirit Halloween, you can find them very easily. But honestly, all the Kwamis from Spirit Halloween are so cute. Like the Spirit Halloween mommy plushies are literally the cutest things so you can get your hands on them i recommend but last year they had pollen tricks and fluff and i didn't pick those up because i didn't have the money so i picked up tiki and plague so this year i was manifesting that they had 
the Kwamis that I didn't have. I hope that they resell it. And they did, so I was very happy. Um, but I didn't find all the ones that I wanted, but I did find Trix. He, I don't know what gender Trix is, but I'm not gonna say he for now. Um, Trix is really cute. Um, this is honestly probably the best Trix plus, um, um, plush. I mean, I think there's only two Trix plushies, and I have the one by Playmates, and it's okay. But this one is really cute, and one thing I like about the Spirit Halloween plushies is that they have sparkly and border eyes. So yeah, these plushies are really high quality, and they are $15, which I don't think is a bad price considering I pay like $20 for my Playmate ones, but I did buy them from Europe, so. But yeah, here is the barcode and the tag, really cute. So, and I do have Tiki and Plaid. I met them in my last year haul, my first monthly book haul, so you wanna look at them through over there. But yeah, I have Trix, really cute. And the last one I got is Pollen. And she is also very cute. Um, the only thing I wish is she has more fluff right here, but she doesn't. She has this little thing. But overall, we have pollen, and she is really cute. And I love the embroidered eyes. So I'm glad they came out with these this year. Um, I didn't manage to find fluff yet. He was on the website, and then he sold out. So I hope I get fluff one day. And then the new one they had this year was um, War, which is the purple tiger. So I really want that one, but I can never find it. I said I go to Spirit Halloween all the time. Have not find the other two Kwamis that I need, which is Fluff and Roar. And I couldn't find Rina Votive's um, flute. So hopefully I'll get those. And if I do get them, they'll probably be in my Miraculous haul that I'm planning on doing. But yeah, we have Pollen and Trix. And the last thing I picked up is actually on this bag right here. This is my Miraculous Ladybug Eda bag. I have a video on this on my channel. And I picked up this um, Tiki plush keychain because I thought it was really cute. So I put it on this bag and it kind of ties the whole bag together. I know last year they also had Plague and Tricks. I don't have those and I'm probably gonna never get them because I never saw them. But I did pick up this Tiki and she was, because I still have the tag on because I'm a weirdo, she was $10. And she looks like the normal Tiki plush, but slightly smaller and doesn't have a body. She's going to be capricated, so. But yeah, that's all the Miraculous Ladybug stuff. So I got the Bosta, Trix, and Pollen, still missing Fluff and Roar, and I got the Tiki plus keychain. So yeah, that's all the Miraculous Ladybug stuff. And that was all the Monster High stuff. So that's all the stuff I got from Spirit Halloween. Um, I don't know if I'm planning on buying anything more from Spirit Halloween besides the Miraculous Ladybug stuff that I didn't get. But overall, that's pretty much it for this year and probably for now. So very happy with the stuff I wanted. I got the main stuff, what I wanted, which is the Monster High accessories and the Cat Noir bow staff and the plushies. Those main things I wanted. So I'm glad that I managed to pick those up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you didn't find it boring or cringy and I catch you in my next one. Um, so I guess bug out because technically this is a Miraculous Ladybug video.